Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, in this video, we're going to be looking at Megascan's uh, 3D plants and the population tool uh, foliage. Um, I'm going to show you how to populate a scene with different types of vegetation um, and show you how to paint them on a, on a landscape like this. Um, so this landscape is just the um, starting landscape in Twin Motion. So when you start, you have your starting base, landscape, and ground. So I've just gone all the way over here, just to this little mountain bit here, because it's quite nice and smooth and it looks good. Um, so I'm just going to start off by going and selecting a grass quickly here, uh, just a grass material. Um, so I've just got this grass here. I'll just find... I don't know this one maybe. Just increase the scale a bit. Yeah, that's good enough. Now, uh, I'm going to start off by going to populate. I'm just going to jump straight into it. Um, fast is how we like it. So we're going to go to the Megascans tab on the left hand side. You have to make sure that you're logged in with your account. So make sure you do that. Uh, I'm going to select 3D plants just here. I'm going to go for, um, I'm going to start going for like a shrub, uh, urban. You can kind of choose what plants you really you really want in your scene. I'm just going to choose this European spindle for starters. Selected these three. Uh, I'm going to go down to the bottom and click populate. Once you've selected these, try not to drag it onto the screen because it tries to load in the Megascan assets. Um, so it's, it's easier to just try to stay on the user interface and click the tabs. So I'm just going to click populate. Up on the right hand side over here, I have foliage, paths, urban. In the last uh, YouTube video that we covered um, custom paths, which was this one. Um, but we're working on the foliage tool here today. So we're going to click that. Uh, we're going to click paint. And now it says drop a model here to start painting it on a surface. So I've got my model on the left hand side over here. These three. So I'm just going to click and drag these over here. It takes a second to load. Okay, so once those are loaded, I'm just going to go back to vegetation, grass, flowers, and I'm just going to try and find just dry wild grass. I'm just going to use that as well. So I put that in there. And now to start painting, you've got to select them in this box here. So I'm just going to select all of them. And then I'm going to go down to density. I'm just going to pump the... I'll show you what it's like when I pump the density all the way to 100%. And to start painting, you've got to click the, the paintbrush tool here. So once I click that, you get an option below, there, which is a diameter. And that's the size of your brush. So I'm just going to go ahead and just increase that a little bit. And I'll start painting. So as you can see, the density is way too high. So I'm just going to just erase that for now. Then I'm going to go back up here and just reduce the density down a bit to 40%. And let's paint now. Yeah, that's still a bit too high. So I'm going to just select these, turn the density down to about 5%. I'm just going to start painting some of these like this. And then I'm going to go back here. And I'm just going to turn the density for the grass up. So as you can see now, we've got the dry wild grass, the um, European spindle, and now let's go ahead and add some trees in here. I'll put some Norway spruce. Let's see what that looks like. And you can select on each one and adjust the size. 
So if you want those a bit bigger, those a bit smaller, maybe, I don't know, these ones a bit bigger. And I want to increase the density for these. And then I'm going to also increase the age. So it's at 50% at the moment. I'm going to increase it to... Let's say 80. 80%. Now I've kind of got a little bit of like a forest scene set up here. It's a little bit heavy on the on the PC painting the mega scans, trees and bushes and stuff. But if you've got, it's only because I'm using um, I've only got 16 gig of RAM at the moment and I'm running a RTX 3060 with 8 gig. So um, your PC might be a lot stronger than mine and be able to handle it. But currently, yeah, mine's struggling just because of my specs. But um, yeah, you get you get the idea. And, you know, if you want to start to make it look a bit nice, you can go in here and change the render to Lumen. See the Lumen? The Lumen looks really good. Um, increase the scene detail. Yeah, let's just create like a little camera set up here. See, there's one for Lumen, and then we've got one for Path Tracer. But you get the idea. You know, you can you can basically create a forest pretty quickly uh, in Twin Motion now. And then you know, if you don't want any of those, you can just turn these ones off completely. And then you could even chuck, um, you know, you can put some, even some rocks in there. To see how, it, how easy it is to populate a scene. Uh, you can even go into the Megascans 3D assets, go to nature, rock scatter and then you've got all these different types of little rocks that you can use that you can put into your scene I might just go and I might put this one in here so I've made another paint populate you can do different you can do you know, there's painted vegetation one, you can do two, three, four. Just, it all depends on your PC specs and how much your PC can handle. But as you can see, I've just painted all of these. And then I can even go and just add some bushes there. Click on the image and maybe add a HDRI into the background.
see how easy it is to you know just quickly create a forest scene so you can use these to create vast landscapes or just for your architectural renderings I mainly use it for backgrounds and you know just surroundings for for my archivists so yeah you can do whatever you want with it create animations movies whatever um, it's definitely this tool has definitely gotten a lot better over the last couple of years uh, you used to not be able to paint mega scan um, 3d plants but now you can which is a big plus um, so yeah it's quite easy to you know populate a scene even though this isn't isn't very big it, it still looks quite good like up close in here I'm just going to go ahead and delete these two quickly I'll also show you how the um, a scatter tool works as well so it doesn't work properly on a, l a large landscape like this so if you were to click on here it would take a long time to load everything so I'll just show you on a 100 meter plane and I'll just make this the same color Get the same material onto this here so then now I'm going to go back down to the populate tab I'm going to click scatter I'm going to click uh, trees I'm just going to add the Indian sandalwood and just click the scatter tool button down below here once you've clicked that you've got like a paint bucket and then you can select your surface so I'm just going to click this uh, and you can see now that it's scattered a whole bunch of different trees um, on the surface there but uh, it hasn't done it to the to the landscape there so if I was to click that it does it yeah if you keep clicking and clicking and clicking it'll just create trees and trees and trees which is awesome and then can you increase the size yeah so then you can increase the size as well but like I said you need a really powerful PC to do it on the big landscape And if you want, you can even add more trees. Take those ones out and scatter, scatter, scatter. So you can see that I've created a huge forest now using the scatter tool. Oh, so that that's right. It'll work on a mesh. It'll work on this mesh here. See how this is a mesh? It's not a landscape. But if you were to go and add in a landscape, like a flat or a rocky grasslands, then it won't work with the scatter tool. So it'll work for a big mesh like that. That's why it's good that the starter meshes in here if, if, if it helps yeah because it can make the landscape look really cool if you have a powerful enough PC it, it can you can do some pretty big landscapes So that's basically it for the paint tool. Um, so yeah, that's basically it for the paint and scatter tool. Those are the basics. Um, you can just explore these tools more to, to get an understanding of them. Play around with dragging in different vegetation, uh, mega scan trees and grass and plants, all that type of stuff. You can 
Yeah, it's all about exploring and 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 just understanding the tools and, and getting to know them. So, yeah, thanks for watching and remember to like and subscribe and keep an eye out for more videos. Thank you.